placental abruption placental abruption partly or complete separation of the placenta from the inner wall of the uterus before delivery it is most likely to occur in the last trimester of pregnancy especially in the last few weeks before birth the cause is often unknown so it is not possible to prevent it but possible to decrease by avoiding certain risk factors this can decrease or block the baby's supply of oxygen and nutrients and cause heavy bleeding in the mother in some cases early delivery is needed left untreated it is life-threatening for both the mother and the baby chronic abruption placental abruption that develops slowly it can cause light intermittent vaginal bleeding the baby might not grow as quickly as expected and the mother might have low amniotic fluid or other complications signs and symptoms vaginal bleeding it is possible for the blood to become trapped inside the uterus so it might not be visible abdominal pain back pain uterine tenderness or rigidity uterine contractions often coming one right after another risk factors history in a previous pregnancy that was not caused by abdominal trauma a fall or other type of blow to the abdomen chemicals cigarette smoking alcohol consumption cocaine use old age especially older than 40 hypertension chronic hypertension preeclampsia help syndrome or eclampsia early rupture of the membrane of the amniotic sac that causes leaking amniotic fluid before the end of pregnancy chorioamnionitis infection inside of the uterus during pregnancy complications for the mother blood loss leads to need for a blood transfusion shock failure of the kidneys or other organs blood clotting problems and hysterectomy if uterine bleeding can't be controlled cuvillaire uterus uteroplacental apoplexy is a life-threatening condition in which placental abruption causes bleeding that penetrates into the uterine myometrium forcing its way into the peritoneal cavity the occurrence can be prevented by prevention of placental abruption the uterus should be evacuated and contractions should be stimulated using intravenous oxytocin hysterectomy may be needed in some cases for the baby not getting enough oxygen and nutrients leads to restricted growth premature birth and stillbirth cf placenta previa coagulopathy misoprostol 